Welcome back to number five. Ah, good to see you, good to see you, good to see you back. Right, so have you been practicing? We've had that four lessons before, there's a lot of stuff in there. All the basics, and we're working up to being rather brilliant. Okay, so what we're going to do today we're going to start to use some of these shapes and we're going to start to build a character from what we've learned. And one of the things that we're going to try to do is we're going to try to break down a character. OK, now, the only way to do that is to basically keep working with shapes, simplifying shapes. And the way I'm going to try and do it today is I'm actually going to try and draw this in a, maybe I'll use a brush so it's nice and big and thick. And um, what we're going to try and do here is we're going to try and think of the body. Okay, now we know that we're going to have, if we work with this cat from before, okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw his head. You can use anything. You don't have to use this brush. I'm just doing this so it's nice and black for you to watch. You can draw it in pencil and it will have the same effect, the same excitement. You can draw it in a, an old biro, an old biro from the bank or an old pencil or fountain pen, whatever. So we have our head and our cross is going to be like that. So that's the head that we're thinking about. And we're going to start thinking about some shapes. What kind of body can you imagine? Now, just close your eyes there for a minute and think about this, this head on what kind of a fun type of character. Now, I have no idea what he's going to look like, but we're just going to imagine him. Imagine him being nice and this kind of sadness coming across. And he's going to be a little bit hunched over, maybe, you know, he's going to be very sad. You're very hunched over. So I'm going to try to bring this character up and I'm going to draw a circle up here because I want his, ch his chest to be nice and high. OK, now from that, I think it might be nice to have a nice wider shape down here. So let's make it give him a big fat kind of belly again. It's just a circle. OK, it's just a circle. There is nothing complicated and we're at, at stage five here and it's all simple stuff very very basic we're just learning another circle so i'm going to keep it if i can kind of like draw little kind of guidelines down there if you wish you know if you've got a if you've got a pencil you could just lightly draw it down and then we'll just draw a big circle Now that big circle is going to be his belly, okay? Now we're going to take this small circle that's his shoulder area and all we're going to do is we're going to draw that down. At this stage, it's just basics. So I'm not thinking about his ribs and all that structure inside, but we can do that later. At the moment, we're kind of going for this comedy effect, okay? We're going to try and make him very small chest and a very large, okay? And this is just us thinking about the shapes. So what about his arms? Do we want little arms? Do we want very long arms? Do we want big muscular arms? What do you feel would help with this very sad character that you're trying to draw? Um, maybe if he was a little bit skinny armed, it might help with this comedy effect of his his arms. So we'll just draw a little ball there and we'll draw just a line, a nice big thick line. All the way down and that's his arm. OK, and at the end of his arm, we want a nice big fat hand, a nice big chunky hand. OK, what are we going to what shape was that going to be? <laughs> You're getting it right. You're starting to get it. It's just a circle, right? 
His hand is just like a big circle. And that's all that we're going to think about. The basic shape, the most simplest shapes that we can think of. And we're going to put in a big circle there. Right on the end. Now what we could do is just to add to that character of him hunched over like this. We could just put a hand on his stomach as well. Just like he's so sad. One arm is hanging down and one hand's on his stomach. So we're just going to draw another circle about here. Okay. What kind of feet are we going to have? Mm. He's, got, he's got this nice kind of small to big to even bigger. So let's give him a big, big feet, shall we? So let's give him some big, and this is just semicircle. Circle cut in half. Okay, a semi-circle, and we're going to give him some big feet. Just for the comedy effect. And that's just straight underneath the big stomach. And we'll do another semi-circle, just tucked in there. You won't be able to see it because it'll be behind that one. But that's our two feet. Okay. Now... His tail, we'll just do it from, from his bottom, which is going to be a, just behind his hand. And we'll do this tail that's just like a, like a long, sad line. And that's everything that's there. And that's what I'm going to try and build on. And all we've done here is we've gone a circle, 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 semicircle, semicircle. And we join that circle to that circle. And we've drawn a line for a tail. Okay, if you really want to get very, very detailed about it, uh, we're going to have a semicircle for his ears and a semicircle for his ear and a triangle for his nose. And that's basically our cat. Okay, are you with me? He's still there. <laughs> if you're not sure, just run it back and watch it through again. Okay. I will put this on the side and then we will redraw this um, completely from scratch. But I'll leave it on the side for you to see. Okay. So, let's put the lid on that. So, we are very excited with this whole thing. Um... And we've basically got, I'm just going to lightly draw it in now. And you can lightly draw it in. You've probably already lightly drawn it in, but I'm just going to kind of lightly put it down so I know where I'm going to be drawing my my um, character. It's a little bit bigger. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> That's just a basic guide of guiding me where those this is going to be. And that is our cat. Okay. So... Let's start with the easy part. <laughs> the easy part is the face because we learned to draw that last week and you've already been practicing that, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So our face is just there and that face is gonna be going on to there, okay? So we are going to draw our cat and this is really exciting for me to be able to see all these elements slowly coming together. That's the cross. <clears throat> I hope you can see that clear enough. And it's basically following this drawing. So I'll put that drawing right next to it so you can see. And that's the face from last week as well. Okay. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing our cat. We're going to be drawing those eyes, which you practiced. And the eyes were just basically... The, the the circle of the eye and then we're going to cut it off okay and that we, we did that in the last lesson so if you're not sure go back and watch it <laughs> all right and what we're going to do is we're going to add that big sad circle onto him and we're going to go another one there you remember this is in just in a in a biro at the moment it could be in pencil it could be in anything in fact, if you want, we can draw it in pencil again afterwards. And we're just drawing in that eye and we're adding the little highlight. You remember I showed you how to do a highlight? Coloring in the eye. And 
So you can see that already from just a couple of lessons, how much you've learned, how far you've gone with from one to five. So this is really quite an exciting process. So we're gonna add on our little triangle nose. I'm gonna put our little nostrils in there. And we have the, the sad mouth over at one corner. And we're gonna add that line. Now that's really get a lot of expression in there already. And we can just add a few little things as we're going. As we're thinking, well, you know, the top of his head, do we want a little bit of hair or something like that? And hair is a really simple thing to do because you like you do one back and forward, up and back, one, one, and then you do the next one as a little bit wider, like that. Can you see that? And then the next one, you do long again. Now that's a little Disney trick that. They do a lot of that in Disney. If you go in and watch, and then you have a little short one after that. You look at a lot of the Disney characters, a lot of them have that little sharp, little round, little sharp, little. You have a look, okay? So right above, on that line, in the middle of the head, we're just gonna add a little bit of hair. We're just gonna give him a little bit of a, a little one spike and a little long, little kind of fatter version. And then a little spike again, and then a little, okay? And I will just add that little, little, little extra little details. And it's, it's all there is kind of like out, sharp, back, and then a little bit kind of bowed line. And then you're gonna go bowed line, bowed line, sharp, sharp, and then little, okay? You try that. You add that to your characters, they give it a lot of spice, I tell you. Right, so, back to our cat. And we are drawing our round head. And that's looking really nice. And we've all got very basic stuff here, all circles and stuff like that. We're gonna, get, we're gonna do those semicircle ears, okay? Give him that nice kind of droopy, sad feeling. And if you have any problems with this, any questions on this at all, anything at all, write me a write me a, a comment. Or if you like it, send me a comment. Okay. Now we can do those little sad whiskers. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, what are we gonna do here with the shoulder? We're gonna have to add, add his neck. <clears throat> now the neck's just gonna be two lines, that's all. This line and this line, that's it. Simple, right? Right? Say yes. <laughs> so we're just gonna add his neck in there. Lovely. So, <clears throat> What we've got here is a nice big round shoulder. And again, it would be nice to have a little bit of hair at the end. Do you think we could do that trick again? You think you could do it again? Let's try and bring that shoulder. We're gonna have a big round shape there. And we're gonna bring the shoulder up and around from the neckline. We're gonna go up and out and back again. And that's our little bit of hair. <clears throat> kind of looks nice and hairy now. Just a little tuft on his shoulder. Okay, so we're gonna round that a little bit more. Just like that. Okay, so you're still following. Right, so we've got our hands which are gonna be down here. And we're gonna have a long line coming down to it. So just bring it in from that, like what we've done there on that from the outside line to this inside, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a long line down, halfway down. We're gonna do that little trick again with the hair. You think you could do it again? 
Let's go. So, I'm gonna bring that line down. I'm about halfway. You can do a little extra thing here to make it look like this. And we're gonna do a little bit of that hair, the same as we've done before. And we're just gonna have it pointing downwards, okay? Out, sharp back, out, fat and back, out, sharp, and then settle. And that's a little bit of hair just sticking off, just on the edge of his elbow there, just to kind of fluff him up, and make him look very cat-like. Then on the other side, we're just gonna bring that line all the way down, all the way down. Don't need any hair on that side. Again, I'm just gonna give a little, little bit of that round there on the, as in uh, that indication there. And then from the little bit of fluffy, we're gonna bring that down. And that's his long arm. And we've got so much already done there. And we've done a circles, a round, triangle, semicircle, and a couple of stick shapes, like for his arm. Okay, so now for the hand. The hand, I want to try and make, we're gonna work for a ball. And then we're gonna add a couple of balls on the end. One, then the next one's slightly bigger, okay? Slightly bigger. And then back to the same size as this one. And that's gonna be our little paw, okay? You see that? That is going to be how we're gonna draw it. One big kind of egg shape, then a little egg shape, and then a slightly bigger egg shape, and then the same size as that one, okay? Very, very simple. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that hand to be a little bit like that, so that it just kind of gives a little bit more pose to his sadness, okay? Let's put that there so you can see. And we're gonna draw this hand, we're gonna draw this, we're just gonna draw that. Drawing this hand, we're just gonna draw the first kind of egg shape. We're gonna draw that on there. We're gonna draw one of his fingers there. One of his paw fingers, I don't know what you call that. <laughs> Does anybody know what a paw finger is called? Please let me know, I'd love to know. And then the next one is gonna be slightly bigger. Just so that it stands out a little bit. And then the next one's gonna be the same size as the first one. And that's fantastic. And that looks like a lovely kind of angled paw at the end of this long, thin arm. Right, you ready for the stomach? Oh, we have to draw, oh, don't forget we have to draw the other hand. The other hand. Okay, so the other hand is basically that from, from not from the side view, but we're just gonna move it around to the front a little bit. So you'll probably have a circle, slightly bigger, which is the middle one and then a slightly smaller on that side, and then the same size on that one. And then this big, big circle, we just put it over the top like that. So that's that from a different angle. That to that. Can you see that? So we're gonna put that on his belly somewhere. So we've got that very light line that's come down there like that. And we're gonna draw that. Okay, you ready? So it's just a couple of circles. We're still sticking with circles. There's no detail at all. So don't, don't chicken out on me now. We're just drawing circles, all right? So here we go. That's that first finger, the middle finger. And then we're gonna draw this other finger on the side. And this other finger on the side. If it's going too fast, just run the tape back. It's okay. There's no there's no race in this, okay? This is all about enjoying it. And all about keeping it nice and slow and enjoying the whole drawing, okay? And then we're gonna draw that big dome shape on top that shows the top of his hand. And that is our fingers on top of his stomach. Now, from the neck, base of the neck to that finger, 
we're going to have this nice big sloping line. So let's bring that down. It's a lovely big line. Lovely. Lovely. Now, let's just, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this kind of fluff. And I think you're enjoying it as well. And I think we're just going to add a little bit there just to show his chest shape. So just add another little one in there. Same type of thing. One sharp, one domed, one sharp. Okay. And that's on there. You can put a little bit on the other side just to. Right. So we need a big belly on this. Okay. Big round here on the stomach. Okay, that's going to be very important there. So, we're going to stop just before the hand, about there. Okay, because that's where we're going to have to add some legs to him. Okay, don't forget the legs. Okay, so we're going to have him, give him a big fat belly. Nice and round. Everything's round. The whole world is round. <laughs> The whole world is a circle, right? In Kieran's world, the whole world is a circle. So that's a lovely big stomach, okay? Now, just on his back, we're just going to bring that line down. Just parallel to the arm, all the way down. It can come out a little bit wider towards the, the bottom. Fantastic. Look at that. We've drawn this whole detailed cat. And only a few minutes. Okay, so we're going to have to add some legs on here. And what I suggest is that we kind of give him some kind of zigzag legs from the body. Bump, 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 bump. Like that. And the same with on the other side, almost the opposite. Bump, bump. Okay. And I'll kind of make him feel nice and kind of sad and weary and kind of bent and buckled, okay? <laughs> uh, this is fantastic. I'm loving this. I, I hope you're drawing along because I'm loving this. Um, <laughs> so the same as the arm, we're going to keep it nice and thin. And we're going to go out and back to the foot. From the body, out and back to the foot, okay? Maybe at the joint of the knee. What do you think? We can do a little bit more fluff. Let's try that. So from the body, working outwards, okay? Out, a little bit of fluff on the end, back to the foot, okay? Okay, you can do it. You can do it. Out. Add a little bit of fluff. Add a little bit of a furry knee to it. Looks lovely. Great. And then back to the foot. Straight down, straight right to the back of this dome, okay? Straight to the back of the dome. And then we're just gonna go back and make it as bad, as thick as the arm. Wonderful, wonderful. There we go. And then we're gonna go on to do the other leg. Same again, from the body, out, a little fluff on the edge and then back to the foot. Okay, you can do it. You're doing fantastic. If I'm going too fast for you, just run it back, slow it down. This is all about enjoyment. Okay, so and if you are enjoying it, do subscribe, do send me a message, do say, I follow drawing your cat. Thank you. Or I enjoy drawing your cat. Can we draw a dog? <laughs> Okay, and that's going back, the leg going back to the foot, back to the foot, nice and thin leg. The great thing about digital now, the great thing about YouTube and things like that, is you can watch these lessons and then go back and watch the lesson all over again and go back and redraw it and redraw it. I think it's a fantastic, I always, always, I'm, I'm spend so much time on YouTube learning things from amazing people. In fact, doing this video inside video thing, I just learned that the other night. All learned from YouTube. It's incredible. Right, so the foot of the cat. All right, the foot of the cat. What we're going to try and do with this 
Yeah, uh, maybe I get another piece of paper. We're going to draw the dome of the foot, okay? And the dome of the foot is like that. Okay? And what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and just break that into toes. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to... Same with the, the fingers. If you remember, we did the middle one was slightly bigger. And what that does is it just adds a little bit of character to it. If all the fingers are the same, it kind of looks a bit bland, especially when you're doing a design. So keep that in mind. If you've got three fingers, this one, then the slightly bigger, then the same. The second one is the same size as the first one. It's a very good tip. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that big. In this case, you won't be able to see it. But it's a very good tip to have for when you're drawing feet. So we've got a line up and a line back, line up and line back. And then the last one will be the dome of the foot. And it will give the effect of having the three toes. So that's basically what we're gonna be doing, okay? Nothing difficult there. It's a dome with a couple of lines through it. It's very simple. So that's what we shall do with the foot. So, Taking that dome, running it all the way back to the base of the foot, from the front of the foot, running it all the way back to the dome. And then the top of the foot, running it all the way back down to the ground. And a nice curve for that dome. And we're gonna go up with our toe line, and then we're gonna curl it back. And then up, with our toe line and then curl it back. There we go. And we've got a lovely big cat's foot. Just curl that around and draw a line flat on the bottom. Beautiful. Have you got that? Okay. So let's try and do that with the other foot. We're gonna bring the dome down to the to the ground from the back of the foot down to the ground. In the front down and we'll tuck it in behind the, the other foot. So that will come in just slightly higher on the on the base there, slightly higher. So it kind of gives the impression that it's behind, okay? And we'll just touch in the idea that there's those toes there behind. So you won't go all the way through, but you'll just do that. So, you got that? So we've done the feet now, we've done the arms now, we've done the hands now, we've done all the fur bits, we've done the head. We're almost there, it's almost finished. So we wanted this tail to come off the bottom, the bottom of the, the cat, all the way down and then curl around by his feet, okay? So that's just gonna be about, about that thick, the same as the arm, running straight down and then curl it around and then curl it back on itself next to the feet. Okay, let's try that. Bringing the line down. Lovely. Bringing the line down. And then we're going to curl that all the way around by where his feet are. Can you see that? And that is absolutely perfect. Now, if yours doesn't look like this and this isn't perfect, then just enjoy what you've done, okay? Enjoy how far you've got. You've learned so much in a couple of lessons. If you've watched all five lessons, you're already better than you were at the beginning. True, right? You're already better. So feel good about yourself. Feel confident about yourself. You've just drawn a cartoon character, cat, with an expression standing on two legs. That's an incredible achievement for five simple lessons. So let's just finish that cat off. And I hope you're going to enjoy these little lessons of just enjoying drawing, because that's what it's all about. This is just about enjoying drawing. It's not about being a, an amazing artist. It's about enjoying the process. And that is our cat. So, from that, we have learned so much. Um, this is a, a lesson that you can 
stop at any time and run back. It's also a lesson that since it's all the processes there, all the stages there, you can sit and redraw this cat as many times as you want at home. Okay. And if there's any questions, if there's any problems, if there's anything you just want to say, oh, I don't want to ask, I'm too shy. What are you shy about? We're friends now, right? <laughs> ask me a question. Send me a question. Say, well, I don't understand how you draw. And I'll do a little special video to show you any little things that you don't understand. Hopefully, by now, you've drawn a cat and you're extremely happy with it. I'm extremely happy that in five lessons we've gone from learning about shapes, learning about expressions, to drawing a character in full style. Now, if this is a little bit too fast, if it's a little bit too far, send me a comment. Don't be shy. Send me a comment and I will try and come back and help you out with anything that you need. Okay. Thank you very much. Are you ready for the next lesson? Are you ready to learn more about seeing an object and breaking down those shapes? Because that's what the next lesson is. Seeing something and breaking it down into simple elements. And it's a very, very, very exciting thing. Then you can see a man standing at a bus stop and you can break down those shapes. And those shapes you will remember when you want to draw your cat waiting at a bus stop or whatever you're going to be drawing. And this is a fantastic way of learning to draw cars or learning to draw anything that's complicated just by breaking it all down into these shapes. So we've got a lot of very exciting lessons coming up. Thank you very much about it. Please send me a comment and let me know what you think. If it's too fast, if it's too slow, if you want more of this or more of that, this is a lesson for us, okay? This is a lesson where you and me kind of learn together. I learn what you want and I will try and teach you, okay? Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Come on, hit that button. And I will see you again very, very, very soon with some more lessons. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.